All right, so here's the property. This is the edge of the road. Overgrown grass. Got a lot of trees that are overgrown. Just walking off for the septic tank. The leech or field lines run right through here. The actual septic tank is right here where all this high grass is. Went to the health department and got all that. This is the back two bedrooms where that little window is right there. There's really nothing. We're going to incorporate that with the master bedroom. All these trees are going to come down. I believe that's the plan. I'm guessing that this angle right here is a right of way for the power company to get a hold of the pole just to avoid the septic tank. Looks like the plot comes all the way up here to the tree line. And then there's some old chicken coops. All these trees either must go or trimmed up. Got this huge pine right here. Haven't seen a pine that big in a while. Then we got this other huge pine right there. So there's some little trenches from where the rain comes down when it washes out. This is the back of the house. Gotta watch out for the poison ivy. It is growing up all around here. So this little area is poison ivy. This little area will be neat for a garden area. So it's walled in. Got a lot of mowing to do inside here. That tree's definitely going coming out. Alright, so forget the exact name but some kind of trellis is going to go right here we're going to keep the columns the brick columns tear this little roof off get rid of it put some trellises right here and this will be a perfect little sit outside garden area put some let some vines grow over, like some creeping juniper or something. And just grow over this area. In the summer, you know, we'll have to fight off the bees and stuff, but it'll be a beautiful area. We will not cook over here. If we do barbecue, it'll be right over here, so that way we don't kill the trees. Still thinking of put, putting a gate back up here. There was one up there. A laundry room. 
all that's got to come off. This whole ceiling comes out, this whole thing. I mean, we may want to maybe add this to the inside. Maybe put a door on the other side. I don't know. To access it from there. I don't know. Whatever Kelly is thinking about doing. But all that's going to come out. Not sure about this roof yet. We'll get this inspected. Make sure that it's good. Here comes the bad part. Black mold. But all this gets taken out. Let's see. Produce a little light. Yeah, all this comes out. We're gonna redo the kitchen. Definitely thinking about right here, taking out this portion of the wall. Actually, maybe taking out this whole wall, leaving it open. I'm gonna put an island back. Move the stove and the dishwasher here, or maybe the dishwasher over here. Uh, I think the sink's gonna go over here. Not really sure. I know Kelly's already told me, so I've done forgot. All this ceiling comes off. All the ceiling, the only thing that stays up, even the paneling. Paneling goes. Um, windows may have to go just because of the mold in here. Now this room, this area right here is where the Laundry room is. I didn't lock that door back. I'll make sure to lock it back. So this is the screened in area. Uh, we're going to open up this. Uh, I'll probably come back about right to here. Open this up and put a big glass door here. Redo all this. Something dead out here. Um... garden area, the man cave. Gonna redo it all. Pantry's going to stay, going to be redone a little bit. This is the wall that I said that's going to be taken out. This way, this front door area is going to be a living room. I mean, it's going to be a dining room. We're going to do something with the porch. We haven't figured it out yet. We've got a couple ideas. Um, not sure if we're going to keep the door yet or not. I like the door. Looks pretty solid. This is the bathroom that we're really not going to change anything in. Deep shower. This bathroom is going to be completely changed. The door is not going to be here. It's going to be closed off. Then we're going to put a little nook here for the phone. Gonna have an entryway from the bedroom right here. I think this closet's coming out. Gonna be reconfigured where the shower is this way. Maybe the toilet over here, sink over here. Not really sure yet.
This bedroom stays the same. Just gotta get updated and painted. It's a small bedroom. This area right here gets added to the master bedroom. It's gonna be the master bedroom. It's a little small, we're gonna add that to it. Uh, we may just open this all the way up. Uh, there's iffy different things. Got one little garden area out there. There was that, what we're calling the man cave, the walkway. All that area is gonna be a garden area. We're gonna put another one of those glass doors like we're opening right here in the bedroom to open that up, screen it in so that way no bugs or anything get into the bedroom. Again, this will probably be our way into the bathroom. Again, this gets taken away because there's really useless. This bedroom. We'll be able to walk in here through the master. This will be another closet. So one closet, one maybe drum room, master bedroom, bathroom re get, gets redone. This one gets it's the same. This one will be the dining room. This is the kitchen. And all these cabinets go by. -by. Yeah, we can't figure out where the leak is. They've, they've had to puncture some kind of small hole up there. The ceiling is complete. Don't know what it is. But it's something. It's definitely smaller than what we're in now. We're going to redo something here. Kiss the shutters goodbye. So that brick wall goes all the way around on all this high grass. I have to get a bush hog in here. Get rid of this. Get rid of all this. Road's gonna have to have some kind of attention. We see a couple little small places. But other than that, once these trees right here get taken out or chopped down, I think they may be taken out because the leech lines are right here right here and right there leech line field lines whatever you want to call them that's going to be our new house